burial by raft at sea. Not really a burial necessarily, but you know what I mean. Oh, so if you hold this near something, it does drain energy from it. So I can use it as a flashlight as long as I want to. That's them getting married. I can use it as a flashlight all I want, but the moment I get near something and it consumes power, it does rip the power out of it. Kind of almost jumped off, didn't I? Oh, what is that? What did I just pick up? It was like a disc thing? It almost looks, it almost looked like a UMD reader or something. Stairs are hard. Bad times down there. We're gonna not go that way. So some of those have energy at the bottom, but nothing else really. I don't. Oh, there's a tunnel. Interesting. Childbirth. Is it just supposed to be all the different things that I did when I worked here? If that is me, like just all the different services I did, childbirth and. Uh, Dealing with the dead, marriages. So we're trying to open that. Not sure if Lighting 04 actually did anything. Grabbing it. Ah, there is stuff down here. Light and plant. Oop, I'm drowning. You gotta go fast. Oh, I should check the other one then. So that one said light and plant at the bottom. That might be a clue. Could I be finding the first puzzle? Dead person, other plant, baby, sunlight. I didn't see a disc down there, I don't think. Alright, so what's this middle thing now? Oh, it's reacting to me. Okay. Bud. Bud. Both the buds are the same. Oh. Baby. Withered plant. So you'd be the withered plant, right? That's a sunrise. So that's midday. That's the moon. So I guess you need to be that. We found the first puzzle. It does have puzzles. The game wasn't lying. It was a genuine point of concern at some point, honestly. I was like, when is when do the puzzles happen? So sunrise and baby, so new bud. This is pretty. It always it always is a pretty game as long as you're not looking too closely at individual details. Like the over it's a good like wallpaper game. If you like stand far away and look at the landscape. Like half of a throwing star. The sun. Oh. 
Got an achievement called the sun and now I can't really move. I'm surrounded by figures. They look like they're from uh, Scanner Somber. <laughs> Okay, that was creepy. I don't like that. Do you not do that? Okay. Great, look forward to that being a problem. Some kind of thing with a gross, like, red eye pointing at me. Do I just need to find the rest of them? Is there more? There's no more, like, beams pointing this way. Oh, what are you? Okay, could you stop that? I'm gonna pull this guy out. Hopefully if he shows up again, it'll like ward him off or something, I don't know. What can we find out here? You think I could just climb up here? Be easy. I don't need to open no myst magical mystical door, just climb this very basic slope right here. Like any adult man could. Or uh, really ch a child, really. Particularly gifted toddler, maybe. It's like the Dark Souls 2 problem again is like this. I have to kill how many great souls just because you won't go over a freaking pillar that's not even half as tall as you? Do I have to go down there? That seems like a bad idea. Okay, that's creepy. So, whenever the screen goes gray, there's just gonna be a specter behind me. Goody. I almost landed directly in that. Oh, never mind, that's just that. So I can climb back up. I thought it was a poison pool for a second there. We're getting whisper sounds. Nope, we're going down. Oh, he's the body that lays here. Interesting. Same canister I have, kind of. Oh. Now I've got the power of the sun. So I assumed that when I found the builder one that that was... I may have found the corpse of the builder. And now I found the, the symbol of the sun. Did I mix them up? I thought that was the character I was playing as. Except, I don't remember her being blue, though. I thought she was wearing white in, in the picture I saw. So now I have, I have a new power, I, I take it? Get out of here, spooky McVillain face. Don't want none of your nonsense. Maybe I'm gonna find all the people from the intro dead one by one and take their power. Maybe I am the bad guy, all along. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Nailed it. I wonder why the game says to save often. It says it only quick saves every now and then, but also like, unless you were anticipating crashes, how much, how often is it necessary for me to load? That's a trippy visual. Yeah, that's the fragments I have. Well, that gate is huge. What? More bodies? Oh, time to load again. It kind of seems like it brings up the loading screen, but then it like shows like the previous region's loading screen, then cuts to the new one because like it didn't update in time or something. I wonder if that's what's going on there. 
Looks like we're going to a graveyard. Which fit, uh, sound. Wait, what was that sound? Oh, cave in behind me. How? How the heck did that happen? Okay. Oh, just rows and rows of these things forever. Which might be stasis pods for an entire society, so maybe the society survived. Maybe not everyone's dead after all. I don't see anyone in there. Well, this place is massive. There we go. That could tell us something. So that's all six of the people. Yeah, I, I thought that the one with the star on their chest was me. Maybe I was mixing that up. Maybe I'm not any of them or something. If we found the builder, then we found the star. All six go together to what? Like a... A vortex? A hole? It looks like a hole. Cog-shaped hole. Staircase goes up to it and then you drop stuff in. They all have a piece of this... Hexagon, maybe? They all contribute chunks of their symbol. Oh yeah, each of those tokens is their, uh... Each of the tokens is their emblem cut in half. Which, in some of them, it's like, clearly the emblem cut in half, like, that's a diamond and then it becomes a triangle. That one's like, they just cut the half off the hammer, it's like, kind of an uneven cut. And that one just turns into a diamond. The, the split is more obvious in some of them than, than others, because a lot of them it's a perfect 50-50 split that's symmetrical, and the other ones it's super not... ...weird choices. What could these symbols mean? Could they be re could they represent who is, who is inside? Like, their name? No, oh, thought I might be able to do that. Every single one might have its own symbol. Nope, that that one repeated. I think. Okay, we're getting scanner somber flashbacks right now. I heard metal creaking that way, like a hinge. So do I gather all six elements, then come here? And use them? Or all six symbols? Oh, the hourglass is already here. So did you bring the hourglass? Yeah. Oh. That gave me another one of those, so I can open more doors. But now I also have the hammer, right? Oh no, I don't. These are different. These are the symbol- these are glyphs I can use to open doors. But they're not physical. So there's a glyph version of each symbol. And then there's also the emblems themselves. And of these, I never got the hammer one, I just have the hammer glyph. Not the hammer, like, symbol itself. So the, the hourglass person made it here and then died. Apparently. How did he die in th The idea that he'd come exactly here for that- to place that and then die on that spot perfectly, like... I, I love environmental storytelling, but you're kind of pushing it a little bit that they, they'd perfectly die in this place that it would perfectly explain to the player what's going on. Alright, so I got the star, the sun. That was the symbol we got in that creepy, spooky area. And then they, then another one's already here, so I need to find four more. Wasn't that the symbol of the scholar? Did the scholar die right here? I think the hourglass was the scholar.
Where are you going, buddy? Oh, Jesus. That was nice. I was not really expecting a jump scare to show up in this game ever. So, like, that was like, ah, Jesus. Look at that. Oh. That's a lot of weapons. Not weapons. Tools. Wood axe, pickaxe, hammer, another wood axe or variants thereof or something. Are those beds? Seems like it. So the guy who did all this, who discovered this power, who seemed troubled by the way it was used, watched and grew old as the newfound prosperity lead to, led to these village folk, these, I think they were the fishermen and all and whatnot, they, they built their society, they built brick buildings, they had agriculture, they could live in one place instead of hunting, and it changed what they did, that's why, I think that's why they showed the the cleric character take the uh, plant to the hunter to show that they didn't have to hunt anymore. I think that was the point of that to an extent. And he couldn't at once the once the cat was out of the bag, he couldn't change back. He couldn't undo the direction that uh, society was going in because everyone knew about it now, so he couldn't take it back away. And he seems to, it seemed like he like I'm at least the implication feels like he knows that it's bad. And something bad's going to happen as a result of that being how the what power society. But once it's out, it's out. They it can't really stop everyone at that point. So we watched all of society change from being like seemingly hunter gatherers to being like a city. But then this happened, where there's no more city anymore. It's a bunch of ruined buildings and not a lot of people or anything. They discovered how to make wells, they discovered agriculture. And then it seems like we watched him all the way through his life, and then his death. Oh, this was this is just infinite, isn't it? Kinda of defeats the purpose of even having the other ones around. Uh 
Because he went up to a boat, and the boat seems to symbolize death in their culture, so it seems like that was what was next for him. Or so we thought. But we might not ever see- so he's he's been important so far in the flashbacks, but we never see, we might never see him again. I don't have that one. We need the hourglass next. Oh, don't fall. I wonder if this is the rest of the game. Could these all require the symbols that I don't have yet? A tree? Yeah, all I have is a hammer, the sun, I think a sun and then a star or something? There might be a flower. Yeah, going by the glyphs we saw before for the, we were likening the ages of people and so on, I think that was a flower. Oh, we have that one. Oh, is it that I'm out of juice, so I can't use it anymore? Let's go check what the other one is. Wow, I don't, even, don't have enough for that either. Can we see you go down? Like, does the, the amount drain? Oh, yes it does. Okay, so that's not infinite either. It's just bigger. Don't think I have that one either. Okay, so the flower is the only one we have. I wonder if it's possible to trap yourself and actually run out of energy and not be able to continue. Quite dark down here, and I don't feel even remotely safe walking around in here. It seems to be an abandoned aqueduct that's long since gone into disrepair. And I would not be surprised to have it collapse. Well, let's hope not. Might be a long, long bit of sidetracking if I go that way. I don't have much reason to think I'll find anything. So far, this so far I haven't found secrets really. I don't think they mo they may not mostly exist, aside from perhaps our little detour through those huts, which was mostly just a visual thing as opposed to a mechanical thing. Not a good sound. A map of the area. Oh, hi. Took that. The valley at um is that queen? I think it said there was an achievement for the name of the valley. Apparently. Okay, so this does does this tell me where I need to go? I think that's the building I was just in, up top. Yeah, and we went- we went out this flower picture, just below the, the cathedral-looking building on the top. So I'm probably close to the other one, in that general direction. There's a gazebo, there's a pyramid. Where did I start? Just trying to tell the difference between things I've done before and things I haven't and stuff like that. Like, I think we started up here. A moment ago. Then I went through this door down here. Got over here. 
That's probably where I found the map. So maybe this is going to lead us to the gazebo? But it, maybe we've already been there, though, because we went to that door up the, Yeah. We went through the gazebo door before. Maybe this is the beginning of the game, because there's a builder icon over here. So maybe that's where we got the builder icon and went through the builder door. Which took us to the... This, uh... Water village. Which took us through the sun door. And then I came out through here. If that's the case, there might be a lot more to check out. So I think we, we're going through here, which so we're going to go through these southern paths. Find the hourglass symbol. Oh, and there's the three-pronged thing we saw in the distance. Or the thing that I was calling like Stonehenge or a circle of portals or something. Oh yeah, you can see it down there. Past that tree. Okay, it looks gargantuan on the map. But you realize that, like, this area in the middle of here is, like, that area right there. So it's not too big. I had the briefest moment of, like, oh god, how huge is this world compared to what I've actually explored so far. But I'm actually... There's probably not a ton, actually. Depends on how dense this area down here turns out to be. going pretty heavy on the spooky sounds. Uh, we're back to that. I take it that was the only meadow that's going to have that kind of, like, magical spreading effect. Might be a thing where we could just check out a bunch of buildings and solve different puzzles inside, or maybe I'm just being... Hopeful. That's them building the towers. What? Why is the drawing crooked, too? Was the tower supposed to be crooked? The drawing seems to indicate that. I've got a little health to recover, so let's just take one of those. Watch me find out that those things are poisoned and that I'm destroying myself by ever eating any. So they had writing. There's parchment everywhere. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe they just drew stuff like that other drawing showed. Maybe those are engineering diagrams and they didn't have writing. And we just draw everything. Because there has been no sign of language anywhere, really. I need my juice. I keep using my juice on everything and now I need more juice. There's a lot of paths around here. That's them, des they, they designed the doors. Oh, what was that? I didn't see what I clicked on. I got a crystal, apparently, judging by the bottom of the screen. Why do you have a hammer on the parchment? Maybe it was a paperweight? Otherwise, that's a weird use of hammer. You don't write with hammers. Unless you know something I don't. Is it a stamp hammer? Got a little bit of juice. Is that enough for you? Nope. I need to find a, ca a cache of juice or I'm going to be out of the ability to do anything else. Where the heck do you go? Ah, that's the glow I want. Not that one. So that's the way we went down. That's where the map was. We're kind of looping... Oh, yeah. That's the bridge I crossed. I crossed across that bridge and went down there. 
Was there no reason to come up here? Oh wait, the, there was the other side. I had the briefest moment of like, was there no reason to go here besides just getting that energy, which I used to, had to use to get here? And there's this side. Kind of undoes the need to open that door if I can just go behind it over here, huh? Oh, what's up here? Oh. Can't open that. It looks so much like some of those doors you can open by just hitting the bricks away. Well, this looks interesting. There's definitely a sense that the game is suddenly opening up. Oh, it's just one of these. Grow. Might as well finish the job. I think the game just got non-linear for the first time. Ah. I'm supposed to find a bunch of shards to get access to this spot? There's something in there. It looks like what I have, but blue? I wonder if this is necessary for beating the game, or if it's like a secret collectible? Like, maybe you finish the... Maybe you, fin maybe you finish the stained glass window and gain access to a blue version of this thing that has infinite ammo, essentially? That's my first guess. Because it looks like my item, but different color. And also, considering the location the last one was in, it kind of seems like it'll be optional. I don't see that open you. There's no wires. Maybe it only opens from the, the other side? I just happened to find it from this side first. 